Okay, sorry about that interruption. Uh, my wife called me. <laughs> um, let's see. Let's go to the page. Let's see. Let's go to page number. Let's go to page number 817. There's going to be a question. What does um, this symbol mean? It's the hazardous uh, material warning label. It's 1.4. It basically means it's an explosive. I'm going to show you what it is. Um, it's right there. It's on page um, 817. 1.4 means that it's an explosive. Uh, I didn't know what that meant. I think I put oxidizer, but uh, make sure you remember that um, that one little that one little diamond sign, orange. 1.4 is an explosive. Also remember what the blue section of the ERG book is. It is um, it is the section listed in alphabetical order. Okay. So we have maybe like forty three questions here. Uh, let's see. On page eight twenty, know what I believe it is a way bill. Um, shipping papers for railroad transportation are called Wade bills. Okay, Wade bills. Wade bills. Moving along, I think we're almost done. <clears throat> um, hmm. Okay, I have on page eight fifty five. I'm not sure what I put down, but it has something to do with um. Skin contact to um, a, a level C suit. I'm not sure. Page 855. So 855, just read the bottom about skin contact hazards. Um, page, page number 886. Um, read. Read the... Read the paragraph on technical decontamination on page 886. I'm not sure what it was about. Oh, it was about, I'm sorry. It was about um, the typically brushes to scrub and wash a person. Um, you, you need to know what kind of decontamination that is, and that's technical uh, decontamination. When you scrub or brush and wash someone down, so that's technical. So on 886. Technical decontamination is when you brush or scrub someone like down. Okay, um, this was a tough one because this is uh, something we didn't even cover in class. On page uh, 909, what is a dirty bomb? It is a reactive. It's a radioactive device. It's a radioactive bomb. It's not a chemical bomb. It's not a biological bomb. It's a radioactive. All right. Move it along. 924. Okay, 924. Um, the chapter is about, um, let's see, pretty much fire, um, fire prevention and um, fire education. They talk about how to go through someone's house. Um, when you go through someone's house, the answer is systematic fashion. So when you conduct a survey for someone's house to see if it's safe or not, um, you want to make sure it's done in a systematic fashion. The answer is systematic. I remember that. Okay, on page 948, note the difference between a local alarm, a remote station system, an auxiliary system, and the rest of the, the central station and proprietary system. I believe the answer is local alarm system. You need to know which one does not notify the fire department. I believe it's the local alarm system. I think that's the answer. I think that's the question that they're looking for, or that's the answer that they're looking for. It's the local system alarm. So just read over a nine, uh, nine forty-eight through nine forty-nine um, about um, fire protection and suppression systems.
Okay. All right. This is another question that I got wrong. Um, they're gonna ask you what does the colors, what do the colors determine on the sprinkler head? Uh, you know, when you have a sprinkler head, and it's a different color, and is the temperature rating? Uh, look on page 954. It's gonna tell you the temperature rating, which you're not gonna need to know. But um, they're gonna ask you what does a colored sprinkler head mean, and it basically means the temperature rating uh, for each sprinkler head. Moving right along, um, on page nine, 950, 958, there's a question on what a dry sprinkler head is. Um, basically, it's filled with uh, pressure, pressurized air instead of water. So when a dry, it's activated by you know air, not water. There's no water inside a dry sprinkler head. Okay, so just remember. Uh, page 958, look, see what a uh, dry sprinkler system is. Um, there is a question, which I'm not sure what it is. Um, but I'm going to tell you what the question is. 961, what is a dry stamp pipe? Um, the stamp pipe system is on page uh, 961. Um, I think the question was, what is it called when a firefighter needs to connect to the standpipe and put in water? I believe I put in class A standpipe. I'm not sure what the answer is. Um, but read your standpipe. It's pretty short. There's only like maybe two pages on standpipes. On page 961 through 962. And let's see. Know about the water supply, how uh, standpipes, uh, you know, what, what standpipes are actually for. But actually, that covers it all up. I probably covered 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, I think I covered maybe 52 questions, roughly 52 questions. Uh, you just have to get 20 more. Um, I believe, uh, you know, if you can just use it just try to read through the questions read through the questions um, if you don't understand it go to the next one sometimes uh, the other questions might give actual hints uh, to what the other question uh, actually means um, use a good process of elimination what I normally do is I highlight the words uh, underneath each question so I highlight it I highlight it I highlight it and just kind of um, direct the words so sometimes the questions could actually be confusing so if you highlight the words you get it'll actually help you uh, define the answer much easier and quicker and it'll make it much more clear rather than having all the other words in the way that's a, sort of like a test taken technique um, but you also using process of elimination process of elimination is sometimes hard when it comes to numbers but when it comes to the actual um, when, it, when it comes to the actual question if you can just um, you know Cross out two, and then it's gonna. There's gonna be. You're gonna have a 50/50 shot with both of them. But um, I'm gonna actually show you uh, what I do with uh, the actual uh, highlights. In my firefighter skill book, um, let me just give you a good explanation of what I actually do. Um, and this is a good technique to do. Um, I found it helpful for me, and I, you know, I didn't actually get to read everything, but when I read the definitions, I was able to just really just isolate the answer, and that's the most important thing you want to do. So let's see. So let's see. So for instance, um, there's a question. Um, hmm. uh, 
Um, it's going to say, I'm going to read this question. The part of an extension ladder that is raised or extend from the bed section is the. So what I'll do is I'll underline the important parts of the sentence. And then that will kind of uh, unlock a couple key words uh, to help you figure out the answers. But hopefully this video, all the videos uh, were helpful. I wish you all luck and uh, keep in touch in uh, Facebook. Peace out.